Hey guys, this is going to be a rant on none other than Tough Puppy. So, uh, yeah, I believe the show started in October of 2010. I believe, I could be wrong, maybe, but I know it was somewhere around there, so that means it's been out for almost three and a half years now. Um, and let me just say, it's really gone downhill. Now, most newer Nickelodeon shows, they start off pretty bad, but frankly, in my opinion, Tough Puppy started off pretty good. Yeah, because everybody had pretty interesting character traits and personalities and whatnot, and it was a good thing. But nowadays, they, they abuse the fact that they could just do whatever they want with them, and they turned it into a bad thing. They just... Let me just, I don't know how to put this, let me just say that they did what they would do to Fairly Odd Parents, or what they would do to another show like that, like Spongebob, even though I highly doubt the creator switched. Anywho, so, the Chief, let's start off with him, because he's definitely gone through some f pretty big changes that basically tampered with the fundamentals of his entire personality. Anywho, so, he went from a pretty interesting guy, some top-notch secret agent, and the chief of one of the best secret agencies on the planet, and also the dumbest, and nowadays he's just your stereotypical moron. Why, you may ask? Because, like, well, for example, he cried his eyes out in his office when, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. When he didn't win a prize from a show for five-year-olds, so-called Quacky the Duck. So, yeah. It's just weird, because same thing with Keswick and Tough Puppy. He's always been an idiot, but he's even bigger of an idiot nowadays. So, basically, um, if you um, saw their personalities in the earlier episodes... You may have overestimated the show, and then if you saw one of the newer episodes, you'd be like, Hey, what the heck happened? They went from interesting people to just blah. And that's basically what a lot of cartoons have been doing lately. And then there's Kitty, you know, she hasn't changed that much, but she revolves around the same pattern as a lot of shows follow. What with the men and the women, the men turning in, going from... Interesting, colorful, like they have, the men start out with interesting and colorful, colorful personalities that, you know, like, can start off interesting and funny, but then they just turn into your stereotypical moron, like I said before. So, yeah. And then Kitty, I mean, her personality, she's always been, act, she always has acted like she's always right, she's always perfect, yada, 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 but... It gets annoying. I mean, it can be funny from time to time. Like, she's definitely the most unfunny main character there is, because she's a girl. <sighs> because, yeah, that's part of the pattern. Girls usually are the unfunny ones. The boys, they try to crack jokes because of the fact that they're idiots, but it never really works out. That's something else about jokes in the show. Like, gags. Any kind of humor, basically, or just any funny joke that they can squeeze into it. What they do is they abuse the joke. They abuse the gag. They abuse whatever it is. They just... What I'm trying to say here <clears throat> is what they do is they'll use the joke over and over again. Like, for example, one of the first episodes, I believe it was the second episode, it was the episode where the chameleon was introduced. Um, what happened was, uh, Tough Puppy, he said the chameleon's named the Chamaleon. And yes, he did turn his head when he said Lee on. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so frankly, the first time I saw that episode, like the first time or two, I thought that was a pretty funny gag. But then the police officer said it, and the chameleon said it twice. And after that, it really got to me. It got annoying. I mean, that's the problem. They have good gags and good humor, but they abuse it. They keep using it until it hits rock bottom. 
because the first time or two I heard that joke, the Chamo Leon, it was pretty funny. But after seeing it three, four, maybe even five times, it got annoying, and that's not a good thing to do. You should just use jokes like only once or twice. You should use them when they're still funny. Don't use them consistently until they're just, just plain unfunny. Oh boy. So, let's talk about a couple, um other characters, like secondary characters. There's a tough puppy's mom, just your typical naggy, overprotective mother. There's um Snap Trap. I'm not necessarily sure if he's a secondary character. He's definitely been shown in like I'd say three fourths of all the episodes out there, maybe even four fifths. Oh no! I can't tell how to do fractions. I'm terrified of math. That's what the chief said in this uh in the Halloween special. Or was it the Halloween special? I don't know. But that's beside the point. And yes, that was a example of how he can be so stupid. Okay, so anyway, so Snap Trap and his men. Snap Trap is just... He's just an idiot. He's always been a loser, hanging out with his loser friends. Um, Ollie, Francisco, and Larry. And, uh... <laughs> They always use that Shark Tank gag with Larry, and frankly, that one actually lasted them a pretty long time. That Shark Tank gag was actually funny for a pretty long time, and it still is a little bit. I mean, Snapdrap just enjoys relentlessly tormenting him, and it's actually pretty funny because they are somewhat bitter enemies, even though they're on the same team against Tough. Um, so anyway, um, so that's basically how it is, um, sure, Snaptrap tells gags constantly until they're just not funny anymore, like, they just hit rock bottom, like, all the gags that they ever encounter, which totally sucks. Anyway, so yeah, so the chameleon, um, he's pretty weird, he's lonely, fortunately he doesn't live with his mom, like Snaptrap, that would be bad. I mean, he's actually a pretty smart guy. He's pretty smart. He's a criminal mastermind, as you might say. And he's got this transformation suit. He can turn into anything. I mean, sure, he's gone through phases that have made him dumber and dumber and dumber. But still, he has some pretty good plans compared to Snaptrap. Then there's this other villain called Bird Brain. Um, and let me just say that his gags, out of all the villains in Tough Puppy history, his has got to be the worst. By far, his are definitely the worst. Why? Because he's got this these henchmen, Owl, Bat, Cow, and Duck. And anytime he'd say the name Cow, or Holy Cow, Cow would be like, what? And he's like, oh no, I didn't mean you, Cow, I meant like, holy cow, like, oh my god, or some, whatever. And anytime he would say Duck's name, they would all duck. He's like, no, Duck. And it's like, ah, Duck! Like a giant bridge is falling on their heads, and then they're like, and Duck's like, yeah. And he's like, no. Like, mixing up names like that. And also, Bat always says, where? And, uh, Owl always says, who? And frankly, those character traits that they barely say anything whatsoever, I mean, it can be a little funny. I mean, it was funny like the first time, maybe. But seriously, if you abuse a gag that isn't good to begin with, that is a major problem. And that's basically what they're doing with Bird Brain's henchmen, because their character traits, they were barely funny to begin with, and yet they're abusing it pretty much every time he's shown in an episode, and it's a pretty major problem that they're using a running gag that is barely even funny regardless to whether they used it one time before or a hundred times before. So yeah. And then let's talk about Keswick. Uh, we haven't talked about him, he's another one of the main characters. Anyway, so, <clears throat> I mean, he's a genius inventor, yet he still can be stupid, like, he does, he makes stupid decisions, he does very, very stupid things from time to time. It's just, it's just sort of hard to describe. I mean, sure, he's a genius inventor and has invented, like, 
all this amazing stuff, like a giant security system, robots, time machines, acid-spitting waffle irons, all that stuff. Anyway, so, um, yeah. But he can still be stupid. He's not necessarily, like, I mean, he is a pretty funny character sometimes, and they actually do do this one gag where it's like he's about to, it's like, you know how he da 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 does that, like when he ta talks sometimes? Well, um, yeah, so anyway, so sometimes they do it, like, and, like, trick you into thinking he's about to say a bad word, like, one time they did it like he was, a, like, he was about to say the F word, and another time for, like, the S word, and actually, the first time or two I saw those episodes, I actually fell for it, I mean, I seriously fell for it, and, um, so, yeah, so, actually, that's a pretty good gag, and the first time or two you see that episode, trust me, you will fall for it, so, um, yeah, so that's actually a pretty good gag, and, frankly, they've actually only used that, like, four, maybe five times, so, that's a gag they might actually have a shot at, you know, making it to become a big thing, like, I don't know exactly how to say this, and, oh my god, have I been saying the word like, like, billions of times, well, never mind that, so, um, that's basically just about everything I have to say, I've probably also been using the word, uh, basically a lot, too. But that's just about everything, so, Tough Puppy, it doesn't have many new episodes that have been coming out lately, from what I can recall, maybe, like, but that's the problem with Nickelodeon, as you might know, they air, like, oh, like, there's gonna be, uh, a buttload of new episodes, there's gonna be, like, two back-to-back -back new episodes of Spongebob every week, this week, and then... You'll have to sit and watch every single one, and then they won't make another new episode for, like, seven months or something. They need to space it out well, like Sanjay and Craig, they have episodes weekly, or Haunted Hathaway, Sam and Cat, Thundermans. Yeah, those are the three live-action shows Nickelodeon has airing, and man, oh man, do they abuse that laugh track. The laugh track, it can be a funny gag, but man, oh man, do they abuse that like hell. It's just... It's just terrible how badly they abuse it. Yeah, like I said about abusing gags earlier, that is, like, the worst gag they've ever abused in the history of abusing gags on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon definitely does that way too much. Anyway, so I guess that's all I have to say about Tough Puppy. So in my personal opinion, it might get cancelled. It might, but shh. There are probably a bunch of newer Nickelodeon viewers who might enjoy it. But frankly, I really don't know. It might get cancelled, but I highly doubt it's going to last Nickelodeon much longer. So, see ya.